Good morning everybody, how are you guys doing today? We are leaving London to go to the south. We're going to Brighton today. Just catching the train in. It's a bit of a miserable, bit of a miserable weather day here in London, so hopefully it's a little bit better down in the south. I googled it. What? It's raining. No, really? For the week. For the week. <laughs> oh. oh, so we're just going to enjoy the nice ride. This is really giving vibes back of when we went through Europe and caught trains the entire time. It's actually such a super relaxing way to travel, our favourite way to travel in Europe. Welcome to Brighton! <laughs> um, were you expecting it to be this big of a train station? Like I thought it was just a small expect. country town. I think it's bigger than what we were expecting. Oh. Okay. Ooh, we're staying at the Mel Mason in Brighton. I'm oh, so uh, excited to be here. It's this, so nice. This place is huge. We're like right on the marina. So I was like, if we wanted to spend a couple of nights in London and get the city vibe, and now we want to get like the beach vibe of the UK, and we are right on the marina. Let's have a look. This place is huge. I suppose coming from London, you get like back to normal hotel sizes. I can like hear the, the sounds so of the dog. So many seagulls. Wow. That's this like... is our first time ever going to the water in the UK. It is so true. The sea. That's a really cool view. It's nice being on the dock. It is actually it's bringing nice. back vibes of Croatia. <laughs> this way, oh my! Let's a little look, Steve. Dear Mr. and Mrs. Parry, congratulations on your honeymoon. We hope you are. We hope you enjoy your stay with us. Kind regards from the Mal Brighton team. And they left something little chucky. Oh, that's so cool. But look at this. Look. <laughs> <laughs> look at the size of this TV. Let's have a look at the bathroom. Nice, nice. How really? excited are you to explore Brighton? They look really cool. Stephen like didn't know that much about Brighton, but decided to come here because it was such like a tourist hotspot. And Stephen arrived and was like, whoa, this place is nice. It kind of looks like San Francisco, but on, on the, the beach. Water. I don't and know who was inspired seagulls. first, San Francisco or Brighton, but I we'll show you. Brighton because all the Europeans came to America. True. Mm, but really Just nice. Enjoy your chockey. I'm gonna grab a piece and then maybe we'll do lunch. I'm hungry, man. Mm -hmm. It's like two o'clock. It did take us a while to get in. It took us a while, yeah. So, because it is a beautiful summer's day here in England, <laughs> we're waiting for the rain to pass, so we decided let's have lunch at the hotel restaurant and to celebrate our honeymoon. We're having a ginger beer. These are cute, by the way. These are like little Schweppes ginger beers, we've never had them before. Tears buffs. To Brighton. To Brighton. Can't stay at the marina and not try some of the seafood. Ooh, what do you reckon that is? I think this is tartar sauce. I have no clue. Dunk, sorry, double dunk. Double dunk. I'm sticking with the seafood theme, but um, this one decided to go outside and take photos of his fries because we liked how it said for your fries only. I was gonna and take a happened? shot of me holding it with the harbour in the background. I was taking my photo and just before I was about to snap it, I just feel this boom and like a seagull just came in, took like a decent chunk out of my fries and flew away my heart like a giant. I was like, what's going on? And I wish I'd pushed the shot off and got You would have got taken. such a good shot. Oh, my heart is still like pounding. You know when something just like scares you just out of nowhere? I feel like the seagulls are nasty. Yeah, right. Like in Sydney. Yeah. The first time we're going. On a UK beach. Hopefully you can hear us, oh it's a bit windy. Oh my gosh, it is just all stones. This is so weird. We need to walk to the water. We need to, on this beautiful summer's day in the UK. Woo! I was... <laughs> Bobby. So weird, how is this a beach? It's so weird. It's not a beach. Oh, Okay, 
go for a dip. Had our fun beach day. Got got, uh, got a, a bit more added tan. to the tan. But tan, we come yeah. down to the laneways. <laughs> oh gosh, guessing my hair's everywhere. It's so wet. Bobby, you look cute with the wet hair. But yeah, we've come to the laneways. They're very, very beautiful. Cute. Yeah, cute actually. I'll go with that. Cutest pub ever. After getting stuck in this rain, we decided to retire back to the hotel room to have some nice tea, a rhubarb and ginger cookie, and... This is our first tea in the UK. You look very coochie, Bobby. We've also got the laptop out, we might watch some Game of Thrones, have some tea, and just, Do like, watch, relax. So oh. I can't believe this um, amazing summer weather we're having, we're so lucky. I know, this is like a beautiful winter's day in Perth. It's wrong, it's 152 days. <laughs> Just saying. Oh no. Good morning everybody, how are you guys doing? It's the next day and it looks a little bit less wet today. By the so way, this is... Hopefully we can actually go and explore. We tried yesterday, got stuck in the rain and then had to run back. We did. By the way, this marina area, it's, um, it's probably about a half an hour walk outside of the main like Brighton area, but it's worth a visit. It's like a cute little... I'm calling it Hillary's, but English style. It is very cute to walk around, even if you just come down here to grab some ice cream, go look at the boats. It's nice. No one's awake yet, though, because it's like quarter past really eight. Early. I feel like we didn't get our Brighton experience yesterday, so we had to wake up early today. So we only have two days here. And we're going to go head in. To lanes. Have some brekkie and some chocky. Chocky walkie. Two, because the weather is a lot better today. It is, it is scheduled to rain in the afternoon, but we're gonna go and find ourselves some breakfast. Cause I'm hungry. <laughs> Guys, trying to navigate these laneways is proving a little bit more difficult. We saw this place yesterday. I had the coolest name, and I was like, we have to go there for a coffee. These lanes are so cute. I can't get over them. Oh, there it is. Ten. How good. Is that name Chucky Walky Duda? <laughs> Guys, we realized we were probably a bit too keen for the lanes. They don't really open until 10, 10.30 and it's like 10 past nine. So we're on the hunt for like a nice little bakery just to get some coffee and some food. Hopefully we can find a cool, nice looking one here, but I think Brighton will have it. There's a I lot don't think of it's really that cool hard. places. Yeah. No, it's not hard at all. I can smell breakfast, Jess. No, that place doesn't look cool enough. We need to find another place. Like if you did breakfast. Okay, this is the place we found. It looks super cute inside. Do you want to sit in or out? Do you want in? Yeah, sure. Okay, yeah. Is it like no meat in that one? Yeah, there's some meat. Oh, do you want to try one of them? Yeah, that's how it's going. Well, let's mix it up so we can share. <laughs> So we've got one of those. Do you want to try one Should of I these? Up? Yeah, that'll be nice. Super interesting choices for breakfast. I don't even know what they're going to taste like. It looks like. <laughs> it's like a toasty, but the cheese is on the outside. Jessa uh, ordered the soup bowl size <laughs> to get it through the day. I thought you took a photo instead of something like the longest soup ever. You gotta try it. Does it taste good? Yeah, it's super chocolatey. Mmm. Mmm. I don't think you tried enough because when you get in there, there's it's like really some juices good. and stuff. I feel like mm. we're gonna be way too full today. Mmm. -hmm. Can you still go to Chocky Wocky Doodars? <laughs> you we'll can? See you after this. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> Guys, that was actually freaking amazing. I can see why everyone talks about visiting that place because we went online to see some spots to go to. Oh, yeah, everyone, was... everyone recommend Dum Dum's Donuts and that flower pot place, and they're both really good. And that Dum Dum Probably... Donuts makes it until they sell sell out, and I reckon they'll be sold out in the next 15 minutes. There was already a huge line. 
guys this is what I mean when Brighton looks like San Francisco but on the beach you have like that design and then the water is right there Spend them all at once. Guys, I've actually never been on a horror train before. I don't know if I could go on one. Let me know if you guys have been on one and what they're like. Alrighty guys, Steven is usually really good at these stacking games, so he's trying. Don't say that. Pressure's no, on. Who's gonna stack me? Press start to play. Oh, Press start to play. Oh, Bobby, this is good. Yeah. 